Welcome to Call for Help here on Tech Live. I'm Becky Worley, and this is not Scott Harriet. This is Phil Allingham, who, Hi, for Becky. those of you who remember, is a old school Call for Helper, the first product wrangler we ever had. That were those were the old days, back even before we launched. I know, 98. And uh, special thanks. You're going to be filling in for Scott Harriet for a while. And uh, special th thanks to Scott, who has been helping me, holding my hand as we got off the ground and running in Tech Live. He's off to pursue more comedic endeavors here on the channel. And now Phil will be here for a while. Well, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad to have you. I look forward to it. Uh, we are going to start off today by telling you, if your computer is running a little slow, it's probably time to add some more RAM, some more memory to your system. We're going to show you how, especially some of the questions about all of them. RD, SD, SIMS, DIMS, how do you know what to do? It's a very confusing world out there. Yep. The other thing we're going to show you and is our neighborhood fix-it guy, Mike Nadelman. Nadelman. I know, he's going to show Nadelman. us tips for monitors and extend the life of the one that you have. Yeah. We're going to start out, though, with a phone call. And this is Jean from Easley, South Carolina. Hey, Jean. Hi, Debbie. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How can we help you? Great. Um, well, I just want to ask this question. How do you get back the icon show desktop down, uh, on down your... there in the quick launch? Down, okay, down on the bottom. You know, this is such a good question. I was doing a tip about the Quick Launch toolbar, I think it was yesterday, and I thought, okay, I'm going to show people how to put the desktop icon in there because it's one of the most usable icons to get back to your desktop. And you know what? I couldn't figure out how to do it in 10 seconds, so now I've got Phil here. It's a little bit tricky. Everything else that lives in that Quick Launch is typically a shortcut to somewhere else. Right. The desktop one is not. So if you've lost it... Let me delete this one out here. I'll show people what it is, and then I'll delete it. It's right here in the bottom in your taskbar, your toolbar. What do you call it, taskbar or toolbar? Uh, it's actually the quick launch. The taskbar is the one that lives over there on the right-hand side. But doesn't the whole thing over here, what is this, a toolbar? The whole thing is a toolbar? The, well, the, I, I, a toolbar typically lives inside your application. Mm. I would consider this the quick launch. Okay. So I'm going to delete this so that we can get rid of it, and I can test you here. Get rid of that. That sucker's gone. So now I only have three things in my quick launch toolbar. Right. And what you're going to want to do to get that launch, uh, your desktop icon back, it's known as an SCF file, it's the actual file extension. Hmm. It's one that has it. So you can actually search for that. If you do start, oh, there you got it right there. Do star. I just tapped, uh, hit F3. That's my quick find file tool tip. Just hit that and it opened up the find file dialog box. So I do star dot SCF. SCF, hit enter. And where it actually lives, there's a copy of that that lives in your uh, Windows system folder. There it and is. And it shows up right there. And you can actually just grab and click on that and drag it right back down and let cool. it go. And what? Back. There it goes. Who knew? Oh. Just that easy. Oh, I had looked everywhere to find that answer. That's like a classic illogical place to keep it. It makes no sense. It's... it's no. uh, Windows, yeah. Microsoft, thank you very much. Typical. Gene, did you know that you can also hit on the Windows key and hit M? And that'll bring up your desktop. That's a quick shortcut. Either Windows M or Windows D will minimize all your open applications. That so, is a great tip. So either you can hit on that desktop button to go back to it, or you can just hit Windows D or Windows M right there, and it'll take you right down to the desktop. Great. So Thank you so much. Between the two of those, hopefully that helped you, Gene. Great. It surely does. Okay. Y'all do take a care. great job. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. See, you've only been and here about, what, six minutes, and you're already doing a great job. Oh, thank you, Becky. <laughs> we love getting those calls, and please do call us. The number is 888-989-7879. We also love to get email. It's callforhelp at techtv.com. We check those during the day uh, to answer a few at the end of the show. Also, if we've said anything that you disagree with or you have a comment or another solution to a problem, Call for help at techtv.com.